Cool. So I'm just going to kind of show you, run you through uh, the API. It, it's like I said, it's rel relatively simple. It, it's pretty straightforward and easy. Okay. I'm at the very beginning uh, setup. Do I need to check any of those, save my preferences things? What, where are you in? You're in Postman? Yeah. I've got it open on the other window here. So I had you install I had you install Postman from here just because Postman allows you this is a developer tool it allows you just to make API calls without really having to write code so it allows you to go in and make post requests or get requests or delete requests uh, very useful for engineers but you can use it as well to do a lot of other cool stuff all right uh, so now you don't need to save any preferences or anything you just need to kind of get to the screen where I'm at right here see this okay screen. let me see here. Uh, set up your Postman team. I don't need anything on there. Did you download the application? Yeah, it's on my desktop, as far as I know. You, you, you want to share your screen? You just want to share your screen, and then yeah. I'll see what you're doing. Let me get it back on this other window over here, so you can see it. Let's see here. Uh, let me find you screen can, share. You can share either screen on Zoom, by the way. So you can just pick the other screen and share the other screen too. Okay, let's see here. Where's the screen share on here, John? It's at the bottom of Zoom. If you chat. Zoom. Oh, here it is. Sure. Okay. Let's see here. My screen. Yep. Okay. Let's see if this will do it. Can you see it now? Yeah. Just click that skip for now button. Okay. Yeah. So this is that. That's where you'll want to. That's where you want to be. Just go back to that untitled request, or you can click that plus button. Doesn't matter either way. You see that plus button? Here. Yeah, that that works too. Oh no! Click an X on that. You don't want to open that. See the other plus button in the tab section where their tabs are, right next to boot camp. See where it says boot camp down at the bottom? No, it's like kind of like at the top under my workspace. Okay. See where it says my workspace? It's like in the okay. middle, at the top, at the top middle, you see where it says my workspace in the middle. Oh yeah. Okay. Now you see right underneath there, there's a little plus button. Oh, over here. Yep. Just, you can click that. Okay. Now this is, is going to allow you to make a, an API request. All right. So let me share my screen and I'll show you essentially what all, all you'll need to do. Okay. Okay. So this is the same screen I'm on here, all right? So you see it's the same thing. I just click that plus button, and it, yep. it opens up the same thing for me, all right? So I've now already done this inside Zapier, all right? Inside Zapier, I've already created something for you, so or I've already created something to show you. So in Zapier, you can just create a new Zap, all right? Um, and then whenever you create a new Zap, your trigger, in this instance, your trigger, I'm going to use a catch hook because we can use that catch hook through Postman, but you could also tie into X funnels here if you wanted to. You could tie into your Stripe account, you could tie into your PayPal account, whatever is the application that is going to determine, hey, I need to set up all these accounts, which it sounds like some sales page that's gonna be built on X funnels during your webinar, all right? So that would be your trigger, for example. So like, for example, for me, since I use ClickFunnels, my trigger, is not a catch hook here. It's not this is my trigger. My trigger is a new purchase from ClickFunnels. Whenever there's a new purchase on ClickFunnels, that triggers my process. And then the next thing I do is this second action down here, which is this API call right here. Okay. This is what's responsible for setting up the actual user accounts. Okay. So so you can set so you can set them up manually. You can do exactly what I've done here. Okay. You can set up a catch hook, so you just go to Zapier and create a new Zap. And once you create that new Zap, you're going to create your trigger. It's going to be a webhook by Zapier, so just type in webhooks, okay? And just select webhooks by Zapier, and then you're gonna select the catch hook. And then just select catch hook. And they're essentially gonna give you this URL right here, okay? So you can just copy this URL, you can just stick this inside. Um, you can just stick this inside Postman in that URL section and change this to a post request. 
and then your body you can just click here email and then put whatever you want your email to be you know some at email dot com and then you can just tell Zapier hey I've done this already and then Zapier will ask you to test this so to test it all you do is just click your send button once you click your send button, you'll see that you'll get this little message that says success. But then you'll see over here, Zapier now just got that information that was just given to Zapier. Okay? Everything makes sense so far? Yeah, but you're talking awful fast to somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Well, I'm recording all this, so I can send you the recording afterwards if you want. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Or we can, walk, we can walk through and we can do it together. If you just share your screen in Zoom, we can do all this together. Well, it depends on your time, man. It's, you're late at night. I'm not. Yeah, I'm working all night tonight. I do have a call with a potential marketer that may want to do a JV in, in a little bit of time. Um, so, like, I, I think maybe in, like, 15 minutes or something. So. Well, why don't you send me the video? That way I don't have to take your time. I can follow the video. Okay. So, after you do this, all right, after you do this catch hook, now what you can do is this you're going to do the same thing you're going to use an action and for this action you're just going to go again and, and search webhooks and then you're just going to select webhooks by zapier you're going to select a post request and then you're going to continue and then you're just going to fill out this template here it's going to ask you for a url this url is what you're getting from the affiliate dashboard if you go to manage accounts and then you go that you want to add users through our API. You just copy this API right here. Just copy that add user API and paste that inside there, just like that. It, does it work for adding all the accounts, or is that a separate? You have to do it individually. With no, this. That, that's correct. So then, what you'll do is you need these parameters. You need to give us these parameters. Okay. You need to give us your secret key. You need to give it. That secret key, you will create that in your profile section. So if you go to your profile section and then go to edit profile, so just go to profile section, go to edit profile, and then it will ask you for your key, for your secret key. Put some secret here. This is like an extra password. So just think of this as a password. Just type in whatever you want your password to be and just put it here and update it. All right. So you need that secret key. I just showed you where you got the secret key from. You need your token. Your token will be listed right here. Don't use this token because it's not your token. Inside your dashboard, you'll see your own token. You'll need the email. Okay, that email is the email address that you want to that you want to add. You don't really you're you're going to need that field, but we're going to get that field as you can see from our step one. That step one right now is going to be this it's going to be this post request from from Postman because we're just going to do this manually. But if you want to build your own funnel on X funnels and say, Hey, in my webinar, I'm just going to send people to the funnel. They're going to purchase through the funnel. And once they purchase in the funnel, I want all the accounts to be automatically created. You would just essentially create a zap just like this. And then here, instead of doing web hooks, you would do X funnel. Except for X funnels doesn't have a, except for X funnels doesn't have a zap here. Uh, they don't have a Zapier action. So, okay. uh, so you, you could actually possibly do, do something similar if X funnels has like, uh, an IPN and you can just ask X funnels, do you guys support IPN? That's instant post notification. Most, most people do at least support instant post notification. And then you'll just give this webhook that you're given from Zapier. You'll give this as your instant post notification webhook. Uh, and then you'll just give that. And then now, once a sale happens in next funnels, they'll post to that webhook, which will be your Zapier webhook, which will handle the rest of the automation. Okay? Uh, so, this is the part that actually sets up the account with the API through Tier 5. So, you just need your API, the actual API, the add user API. Okay? You're going to give us the product. You can see that here in the API information. You can see. Hey, you need all these parameters. Your secret key, I told you where to get your secret key. Your token will be right there. The email address of the user you want to set the account up with, and the product. If you want to do all products, just use this all keyword. If you wanted to do only domain leads, use this DL keyword. If you only wanted to do text in bulk, use this TIB keyword. But you want to do all products, 
So just use all as your keyword, just like this. You see, here's my product and I've listed all. Here's my secret key and I've listed the secret key that I've already saved. Uh, here's my token and I've just grabbed my token. Here's my email and I'm literally just grabbing my email from this step one where I'm passing it in here. Okay, so the only thing I need to do is update my secret. This is the only thing that I need to do. This is the same secret. Let me make sure that's updated. Yeah. Put that inside there. Some secret. So now I'm done with this part. All right. So now if I turn this on, now you can watch what will happen. I'll just do, now all I have to do is come here. I can grab my webhook. And then from Postman, I can just put in that webhook, change it to a post request, and my body, give an email, and then just put, you know, whatever the email address you want to add this from. This is your user at their email.com. And then you just hit send, and this will create the this will create the account. If I go into this account now and reload it, I will see that I have your user at their email.com added in here. If I look over here, I'll have your user at their email.com. This is what I literally just added in. So this will create them everywhere for you automatically. So the, the, uh, the email you need there is somewhere that's what's going into the funnel for the payment. Is that the email you use? Correct. That's who, that's who you want the account set up for. You can do this completely in Postman if you want. Look, you can do this completely in Postman and bypass Zapier just by creating this, putting this to a post request, and then coming back over here to your API and just grabbing this API, putting it in there, going to your body, and putting in these body parameters. Secret key. Token email, product, and here we're just going to put all, here we're going to put, you know, postman at user.com for the email, for my token, I'm going to put that, and then for my secret key, I'll put that, all right, and then I'll just hit send. No, I, send, I had an extra space there. I had a space and it looks at that space. So you just need to make sure to remove that space. And you can see it says user was added successfully. And then if I come back over here again to account management, and you remember that user that we just added in was postman at user.com. If I look over here now and just refresh this, I'll find postman at user.com inside here. There he is right here, postman at user.com, 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 postman at user.com. So you can use, you can use, if you want, you can use postman and set it up just like this. And if you need to add users individually, you can add users individually. All right, you can use Zapier and set it up just like I showed you in Zapier, which is literally the exact same way. Set it up just like I showed you in Zapier, and this you can use uh, as an automation. You can do this as a you can do this as an automation. So that's why I was asking if you have a chat bot. If you have a chat bot, then you can tie in your chat bot with this, where they can give their email in the chat bot, and then the chat bot can send the information to Zapier, create the account. Or if you tie into your funnel, like I said, I use ClickFunnels. And since I use ClickFunnels, mine looks something similar. And set for instead of this, I use ClickFunnels. Instead of having a catch hook, I just use ClickFunnels. And I say, hey, when there's a new successful purchase. And then I just pick the funnel. And then I'm done. So I just pick my ClickFunnels account. And then once I click, pick my ClickFunnels account, I just pick the funnel and the, and the page. So I would pick a funnel. Uh, 
and then I would pick the page, the order form, and then now whenever somebody came through sales.text in bulk and they ordered, ClickFunnels would hand that information off to Zapier, and then Zapier will just make the API call and create the accounts. If you're using Stripe as your payment processor, you can come in here and you can do Stripe too. You can pick Stripe if you're using Stripe as your payment processor, and you can do it on a new charge. You can do it on a new customer. Whenever you get a new customer in Stripe, create their accounts whenever there's a new charge. Uh, make sense? Yes, is, is uh, PayPal in there as well? Yep, you can pick PayPal. Okay. Okay. Google, in there. If you want to do it from Google Sheets, this on a successful sale. Okay, one more thing to make sure I got it right, John. You said when you're asking for the email, is that the email associated with your payment, with your, uh, yeah, with your processor? No, the email that we're asking for you in the API is the email of the person who needs their account set up. Oh, okay. Who are you creating the accounts for? It's that person's email. Whoever just purchased from you or whoever needs a new account set up, that's the email you're giving us. You give us that email address, and now they have a user account in the software. Okay. That's what you're wanting to do, right, is create those new yeah. user accounts? Right, correct. So that email address for that user. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought it was for the payment processor. Okay. Nope. So you good? All right. Well, I'm going to do my best. So shoot wherever you have time. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, let me, uh, let me upload it and everything. And I, I got to jump on this other Zoom call, but I'll upload it. And then uh, I'll give you the video. And if you, have, if you need more help, just let me know. Okay, brother. Thanks for your help, uh, man. Yeah, see ya.